The aim of this procedure is to measure thermal hysteresis of ice binding proteins and other materials that influence ice growth. This is accomplished by first creating a capillary tube with a narrow opening and aspirating a solution drop of protein. The capillary tube with sample is then placed onto a temperature controlled stage. The second step is to freeze the solution by cooling it to low temperatures in order to introduce ice into the drop. Next, the drop is warmed to melt most of the ice in order to maintain a single crystal in the drop. The final step is to cool the ice again until it starts to grow rapidly. Ultimately, video microscopy analysis is used to calculate the difference between melting temperature and freezing temperature for thermal hysteresis determination, as well as to determine ice crystal shaping and to measure ice growth velocity. The main advantage of the lab control nanolithium osmometer that we develop over existing methods is that um, very long or very fast measurements can be made accurately and repetitively. This method can help answer key questions in the uh, ice binding proteins field, such as the time dependence of the thermal hysteresis. To begin, prepare a glass capillary for solution injection. Use a capillary puller to prepare a sharp pipette with a fine opening from a glass capillary microtube. The size of the opening should be verified by passing air through the capillary to obtain fine bubbling in clean water. Prepare the capillary such that the opening is nearly blocked but is sufficiently open to allow the formation of submillimeter bubbles.